Hey there guys, what's going on? And welcome back to the Ultimate RTG. Well, 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 some big players got released yesterday. Any busy CSL? Oof. At least a couple of those I want to be bringing into our starting 11. But not right now, because prices are stupidly high. And literally by tomorrow, we're going to get those guaranteed SBCs. Three of them? Surely they're going to have to release three. So CSL, Edivisi, and also the Serie A. If you don't have many coins or cards right now at your club, you're screwed. So you better start trading and grinding up or use some untradables uh, to complete them. But what SBC came out yesterday? Well, a couple, but this was the main one. Romelu Lukaku. Mm, I don't really feel the need to bring in an 18-wheeler up top. 60 balance, 71 agility on this patch. Speaking of patches, we've got a new one. I'm not even kidding. Four gigabyte, right? For a La Liga visual glitch. <laughs> You're not kidding me. What have you done? Because I already know you changed something in the last one. So what, we've got a new patch that we've got to adjust to? Dear, oh dear. A patch a week. Uh, just to keep us on our feet, right? All right. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, um, Romelu Lukaku, yeah, I'm not going to do him. But what I have got together are some Serie A packs. I'm going to test my luck today, obviously hoping to put a Ronaldo or even a Nine Golan. So with our starting 11, I haven't changed it right now. I've seen a lot of people send in their squads, and I appreciate some of the recommendations. Um, one of them, uh, 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 I think someone built a squad that had R9. Um, 99 Virgil van Dijk, and it was about 7 mil over budget. I appreciate it, but it was a little bit expensive. I mean, my team isn't made of money, uh, so I'm having to use a few of the cards I already had at the club. Now, with this striker, though, I really wanted to try it. Now, I don't know who's applied a Hunter Kim style. I bought him with that for 210,000. I bought him yesterday. What I should have done is also bought these two, because now Promes was 600. Now he's 700,000, but he's going to drop. He's going to come back down, and that's why I'm just scared. I don't really know a good price for him. But at the start of the game, he was so overpowered and really meta. Being used for me personally off the bench, scoring goals, clutching up, he was really, really good. And with this team of the season upgrade, whoo, goddamn, it looks sick. And he looks like one of the best left backs on this game. Reactions 98, composure 98, defensive awareness, aggression, pace. Yes, please. So this weekend, I want those two in the team for sure. And then I will figure out if we're going to go for foot birthday Mbappe, team of the season Ben Yedda, or I'm not sure. There are just so many options. But he looks like... The Brazilian, five-star, weak-footed, CR7. I'm not talking team of the season, Ronaldo, just regular. Because his dribbling stats are similar in a way where he's got a bit of agility but low balance. Dribbling's there, ball control, mad finishing, good pace and good physicals. And yeah, the five-star, weak-foot, six-foot, high-to-low work rates. So I'm going to be playing him in a 4-4-2 today. I've got a couple of players to sub out, Petit, Doc... Uh, I don't even have a striker. So I'm going to bring on Ken and then just use uh, Mane up top. It's just to play a couple of games. I'm literally waiting, right, until tomorrow to sort a few things out. Once we know what's happening with the market and how many coins we've got, then I will look to put together our weekly squad. Because, like, even Reggie's being brought back into the team. Nah, I'm not going to be using him. This is literally just to test out Jonathan today to see if he is worthwhile. And maybe... He will feature alongside someone who's very much overpowered alongside him. We don't know. But if you're enjoying this series, boys, please do leave a like. If we can aim for 2,300, that'd be amazing. If you're new around, so hit that subscribe button. Click the bell as well. Turn on notifications. And if you want in game codes, G2A, link below, and use that code Fuji. Right. So who do we want out of one of these? Stupid question. Chesney. No, I don't want Chesney. Uh, Dybala, Nyangolan, Ronaldo. One of the three. So please... If you'd be so kind, EA, to bless me today with a couple of shines, yes, that's a good start. No! Oh, here we go, boys. Dutch. Dutch who? Oh, De Vries. That's actually good. That's a very, very good start, boys. My luck with the upgrades is top-notch. 95 rated De Vries. Ooh, 84 pace, 97 defending, and 90 physical. That is a good looking card. Um, let me check his uh, in game stats though. So he has medium high work rate, 6 foot 2, 4 star weak foot. I like his pace, yes. I think his agility is fine. His, re his composure is 99, his reaction is 98. Oh my, he looks like a, a better version of 
let's say, a Hummels in a way, because he's still really strong. What's his height? Six foot two. Power header. God, is he going to play like that in game though? I don't know. Yo, I might have to use him. Christ, he looks sick. He looks so good. How do I link him up though? Um, Dutch. Uh, De Jong. Yo, that actually works. Okay, I'm going to... Ooh, back to back walkouts. Oh, is it Edin Dzeko? No, it's Pjanic. Pjanic, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on in. Join the party, Pjanic. Thank you very much for coming. All right, welcome to the club. I'm going to put him into the SBC. The guaranteed Serie A one tomorrow or whenever we get it. Damn, two Juve players or Piemonte Calcio. Sorry, don't get me done, EA. I know you don't have the rights. Um, well, I think that, yeah, I'll have to quickly rearrange that starting eleven, And we'll use... Oh, another one. Yo, these... No! <laughs> these are OP. Three walkouts back to back to back. It's Italian. It's right mid. Oh. Oh, no. I don't... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, don't judge a book by its cover. Let's open it up and let's reveal the secret. What have we got? Four-star skills, though, is quite nice. High total work rate, six foot. Uh, 99 agility, 97 ball control, 99 aggression. Mm, I don't know. I'm not sure. I think you'd have to try him out. He's probably going to get stuck into an SBC. I've just got three walkouts, but that's back to back. Never, ever, ever have I received that. That is crazy. But yeah, I'm going to have to try and figure out a way to get that DeVry in the starting 11. We're going to put De Jong there. No, De Jong is starting in the 4-5-1 as the middle centre mid. So then we're going to have... I'm not sure. I actually don't know. We're going to have to drop Ramos or just bring Ramos off the bench. Or just use Ramos as a right back. Nah, I'll just drop Ramos. Let's use De Vries. Let's see. Hey, 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 hey. Don't start this though. I know I, I was getting a little bit greedy. But don't start this. I've had three walkouts. And I want another one. And, and if they continue, then I'm going to have to do some more uh, tonight. And then I'll show you uh, what we pack. But six remaining. Come on. At least one more walkout or two. Go on. Nah. We've used up all our luck. But that was crazy, though. I literally got two uh, team of the seasons in three packs. Mental. It's a shame it wasn't one of the best ones, um, unfortunately. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Well, if I get another dupe, then I'm going to, like, re-roll. Please don't give me the same cards over and over. I want to open all of these packs. Yes, go on, go on, go on. Another blue, why not? Nah. At least that's going to be someone different, though. German, well, it's Emre Chan, right? Is he still playing in Syria? I think so. Yeah, it's Emre Chan. No, it's not. Did he move? I swear he went over to Super League, didn't he? And uh, Kadira, uh, yeah. I, I swear he moved. Where did he go? <laughs> no, oh, where did he go? He went there. Who went there for free? Was that Ramsey? I'm pretty sure that was Ramsey. I'm getting all confused. Yo, give me a team of the season. That will fix my memory. Uh, that's not a team of the season. Oh, it's, oh, yeah, we get another goalkeeper. Hey, bring him in. Buffon. When are we getting the like, end of an era Buffon? Usually we get the same cards over and over. Did you see, right? We had... It was De Rossi. De Rossi was on the game. Um, or he was on like all of those third-party websites. But his card isn't on the game yet. I'm not sure if they're going to actually release him. It didn't really look that great. Unfortunately, right now, you, you need a little bit more pace, um, I'd say. But then if someone like Vitzel is working for a lot of people, then De Rossi should still be quite nice. Maybe it was just me that relies on too much pace. Probably. But I like it, though. All right, yeah, I'm not going to stick this stuff in. All right, two more packs after this. Can we get just one more? Oh, just one more blue. And I'll be very, very happy with that. Nine Golan, though, over De Jong as a centre mid and a 4 4 2. I'm not sure. Because, like, De Jong just feels a certain way when he builds up play. Like, he's so good. Oh, all right, these are terrible now. Yeah, I have used up all my luck. So that's why De Jong has to be in our starting 11 for the new build. But then, because Promes is from uh, Netherlands as well, we've got. Yeah, we've got some nice chemistry there. Or potential chem. We don't have to link it up down the left hand side. It's a walkout, though, at least, for the last one. And it's the same one. Okay. Um, well, just while well, that was the last one. So I got an 86 rated to stick into an SBC. And I'm not doing that right now. I can't be bothered. All right, let me go and fix my team. I don't believe that De Vries really needs a chem style in a way. Like, if I were to stick on 
shadow, obviously it brings up his pace, but if I leave it on balance right, it adds a little bit to his dribbling, it adds a bit to his ball control, the agility, the strength, the jumping, and also the sprint speed. It just gives him like a natural, well, basic upgrade. Do you think that's the correct chem style? Um, if he shows signs of wanting to play well, maybe I'll invest in a shadow. We'll have to see. We've got a couple of players uh, to test out now, which is nice. So DeVry and also a uh, man like John. First game for me in a couple of days. Well, just one day. I took yesterday off, didn't play at all. I was just uh, building some teams and trying to figure out what I wanted to use. But that's a nice squad, right? So fresh day, let's do it. Is he going to try and like power that pass through? <laughs> I'm just waiting patiently, boys. I'm waiting for the ball. It, oh, go on, Costa, well played. Right, the dock is in the right mid position. This is such a botched team right now, really, to be using. I should boot out of play. But, you know, if, if you ever had that right where you want to make that instant sub, but you just refuse to kick it out because it's a waste, and it's hard to keep possession anyway. Well, not hard to keep possession, but it's hard to get the ball back. That's for sure. Um, if we just play that in the midfield to De Jong. Nice, nicely done. Yo, it's Jonathan. Man like jo I feel cheated. I, I, I feel like he has stolen something from me. My coins. He's doing a good job there. Oh, let me take that. No problem. Get that across to De Jong. Straight back to him. De Jong is on balance though, which is uh, going to be quite handy. Jonathan. Ooh. Well played, De Jong. See, he doesn't know where to go with the ball. This is amazing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Jonathan, John, John, John. That's it, John's there. Go on, go on, go on, John. Three touch roulette with the finesse. Oh. Jonathan has dropped into a deep position. It's, and it's surprisingly because I've got uh, the guy with high to low work rates. But Ken, great aggression from Ken. If I can give that to Mane. Jonathan, Jonathan, Johnny. Yes, Johnny on his debut. Go on. Man like John. Decent shot as well. It's putting me under pressure on that wing. Tierney, well played. Mane, good turn. Johnny, left foot. Mm, not much power behind that one, was it? No, it wasn't. It looks like Di Maria a little bit. I don't think he's got his legit game face. Poor guy. I mean, that's what they do to the people in the CSL. They don't treat them with respect. Have you seen the defender? One of the defenders has got like 99 agility, 98 reactions and just... <laughs> It's a crazy card. I'm going to have to pick him up as well during the week and test him out. But I want to be playing division rivals, getting used to Johnny Finesse. Yeah, he's... Oh. oh I lost connection. All right, we'll have to go into another one. Also, one thing to keep in mind, because we started this week in Division 1, if I grind, then we can get like the tradable ultimate pack or we can get two untradable ultimate packs. I might do that. Yo, Mariano is quite high up the pitch. Jeez, man, he is very high. It's all right, we've got the three. How's he feel going into the tackle? Rock solid there. Yeah, that was nice. It's a shame I it didn't come away with it. The three. Again, I can't really complain about how he's been putting in these tackles. Good stuff. Where's he going? Yeah, he's, he's moving quite well with it. That's a great pass. Well done. Good goal, that. I'm just going to wait, 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 wait. He's just moving like an absolute madman. It looked like he was just spamming the attack. I mean, it put me off, but I think it put him off as well. Oh, the three. Yeah, I haven't done that really to him. Oh, what? You're joking. I never even was controlling him. You're kidding me. All right, maybe I'll have to try a 4-2-3-1 in this second half. Let's see if that helps us out a little bit. I don't believe I've got an actual cam, though. So Mane will have to go cam. I'm going to switch into that and see if it helps us. I haven't really been able to break him down, though. Oh, Mane. Finesse. Great goal. Good finish. But I'm like I say, I'm going to go into the 4-2-3-1 and see if that helps me get my players a little bit closer to each other. De Jong. We're already getting a few more players closer to the ball. This um, Jonathan... I feel like he has some issues with getting the shots out quick. And it could be his reactions. Like that scoop turn shot. It was a good tackle. It was a nice tackle from my opponent. Oh, Rio, Rio. Oh. 
Uh, it's just getting past this midfield and having the support and, and giving it to someone to pass to. He's got, yeah, good defense. De Jong. Oh, I love that, though. That was insane. Double tap. Jonathan to the near post. Good. Much better. Uh, up the tempo a little bit in that area. I don't think he was expecting me to just jet through with De Jong. He wants to mark that middle of the pitch. And he's marking it. But is he marking it? What well enough? Flick that back. No. Oh, I got let off. Can't say. I see De Jong. Oh, can't say, though. Can go all the way. He's naughty with this close control. I need a bit more support, though, around him. Jonathan. Oh, man. If only he had a little bit more to his game. That's it. I think that's my review. I know I've only played two games, but just my first impression of the card. He's lacking something just to take his game to the next level. Because in that situation there, you really want your striker to be bearing it, right? I, I think so, anyway. Costa. It's a good dribbling from Costa. Oh, I've got Kante on me. He's scaring me. Go on. Through your legs, Ken, and then back on the outside. And that's the difference. Ken versus Jonathan, literally in that situation, pretty much the same shot. Ken scores it, Jonathan doesn't. You see? It's a shame. For the prize that we picked up Jonathan for, it's not all bad. 210, two games, two goals, average stats there. What I noticed with the card though, is when I carved open a guaranteed opportunity, he would score, the half chances, he didn't, and he was struggling with the shot power, just the accuracy. That's one thing that I want to bring to your attention. And it could be the reactions, composure, all contributing to that, as well as coming up against some solid defenders. So keep that in mind. But everything else, like his dribbling wasn't that bad, if you're going to keep it simple. His pace is good. His strength is nice on the ball. He's a good card. He is. For 210,000, I'm going to sell it, though. No? He's not going to be my go-to in the weekend league, but he's all right. The three, I've got to say... Okay, he doesn't have that Ramos acceleration. So let's say uh, someone's cut inside and you're trying to bring over your right center back quickly to close him down when they get inside the box. Um, maybe you shouldn't really be doing that. But I tend to do that with Ramos and put on the pressure. He doesn't have that mad speed, but he's not stupidly slow. He's very strong in the tackle. And I think for the, the price, I don't really know how much he is. Um, 100,000 100, coins? God damn, I'd have to say that is a bargain. With, with the way he played, I didn't feel exposed. I felt like he was a unit. Like He's got some great stats for 100,000. He might be one of the best bargain buys, really. I want to play with him a little bit more just to have a feel for the way he's jockeying. But it, no, it didn't, I didn't have any issues. I'll play with him a bit more, actually, because those are some great stats, and I want to recommend him to you. Well, for 100,000, you can't go wrong. So try him for yourself. It's very, very cheap. And that was with, with, without a chem style, so hey. Uh, good positives there. So tomorrow I will be back, uh, hopefully with uh, some better upgrades to our starting 11. I'll sell him and I'll probably continue using Devry to see what he offers. But thank you for watching. Leave a like and I will see you on the next one. Team out. Peace.